So now let's design the hero section of our home page. So to create my hero section, I click on add new section. I choose double column and under layout, I go to height, drop down the arrow, I choose minimum height, which is 400 pixels. I go to elements, then I drag in the heading elements on the first column. Then I edit the text to Imacan Collections. That is the name of my shop. I need the same heading for another text. So what I'll do is I can right click on the pencil icon here, then I click on duplicate. So the second one is selected. I edit it from here. Your home of quality menswear. Next, I go back to elements. Then I drag in the button element right there. And I will change the text to shop now. And I will link it to my shop page. Take note, the moment you install WooCommerce, that page will be created for you. So I just enter shop and I select the page. So you see the URL right there. Next, I go back to elements and I drag in the image element. I click on it from here, upload files, select files, I go to the folder where I can locate the image I'm looking for. I go to home page and this is the image I'm looking for. I'll just insert it. I click on insert media. Perfect. Now that I've inserted all the elements I need, I'm going to change the background of my hero section. So I click on edit section right here and I go to style and the background type. I go to classic. Then I choose image from here. Upload files, select files, choose this image open it is uploaded i insert media i go to position i choose center center then size i make it cover you can explore any you know, of these options right here now under attachment i want to make it fixed so that if i'm scrolling the image the background image will be static like a parallax design perfect now I'm going to give it a background overlay. So I'll go to classic. I choose a color from here. I'll make it black. And in here I can increase the opacity to 0.6. Now it's time to customize my text. So I select in my current collections, I go to style, text color, I make it white. Now go to typography. And the font family, I make it poppins. And I increase the size. I want to make the size 90. Okay, now your home of quality menswear. I edit that one by clicking on it. I go to style and the text color, I make it white. And then typography, I click on the pencil icon. Then I drop down the arrow and the fam font family and choose poppins. And since I'll be using poppins, in my design i'll click on the plus icon right here click create new global fonts and i'll enter poppins so that i can easily select it anytime i want to choose my font so i click on create so if i go to the global icon right here i'll see poppins as Part of my global fonts. Perfect. 
Now I'll increase the size. I'll make it 32. And now I'll work on the button by clicking on it. And the size in here, I'll make it medium. Let me explore large. I think large is cool. I'll go to style and I'm going to remove the background color. So I'll click on color right here and the opacity, I'll drag it to the end just like that. Click here to exit there. Now border type, you see that my button is only showing the text. I want to add a border so that it will stand out. So I'll drop down the arrow here, choose solid. And then the wave, I'll make it two. So if I enter two, it will run through all the sizes. That is top, right, bottom, and depth. Awesome. I can also change the radius of my borders by clicking here. Let's enter two. Let's make it 50 and it will be rounded. I kind of like this. Let me preview it by clicking on the arrow right here. I think it's cool. Okay. Now, if people hover on the button, how do I want it to behave? So I go to hover and the text color, I leave it as it is. Then I go to hover animation. Let me go to grow. Okay, so when people hover on it, this is how it will behave. You can explore the rest here, like pause grow. It will be bouncing like that. <laughs> Push. Okay. And then let me see. Bounce in. Okay. There are more of them. You can explore them, but I want to use grow. Perfect. Now let's go in updates. I'll work for now. If you don't click on update and anything happens, you will lose your work. So everything is set. I click on updates. Let's preview it. Awesome. So that's it on how to create a hero section for your home page.